projectile characters. That fireball is really good with dealing with gen transcendent projectiles at times. Oh, the peace Keeping sign. you pressured. But then on the other side of things, Samus is her. He has a decent amount of disjoint. Like that Zare and her like F tilt and her up tilt are so good at keeping Mario out. Especially that up air too. It's definitely going to be whoever's able to get in first and find their combo is going to be able to take this game. I'm excited to see how this goes. Yeah, and we're already seeing um, Sully over here rocking the Chris Pratt tag and inspiration Pratt for tag. the Mario movie. But we have Samus at the ledge, and one of the biggest strengths about Samus is her ledge trapping. She has one of the most le busted ledge trappings in the game with the bomb, the Zara to call out, and that fair doing so much damage. But speaking of damage, we got Mario trapping at the ledge. Just getting all that damage in, trying to oh, go for the cape, no. and there you go. Bada bing, bada boom, you're down to the depths. First stock, you are not playing around. Slowly just immediately saying, like, I'm not pulling any stock right now. If I can find a stock against Samus, I'm going to take it. Nice use of that cape there. Getting back into that fireball already. Staying away from this mid range, staying away from those back airs. And just immediately keeping his eyes on the prize, you know, throwing out those fireballs, trying to find those combos. And Ido is just trying really hard to take out the stock. You can at least attempt to reset you. Yeah, and the beautiful thing about Fireball is it's basically a free approach. It conditions your opponent and gives you that in to finally find your way and make whole stocks happen. As we've been seeing as of late, the Marios have been popping on off, but Tito will be popping off with that upbeat, finally taking that first stock from from uh, Sully. Good stuff. Tito finding that forty there, not able to find that F smash. Oh, we missed the forty there. Yes, Watch your DI. It. I knew it. That landing up here at the ledge, I, I smelled that coming out. Very good stuff for Sully, catching that DI in for Tito. Pushing his advantage hit even more. These ladder combos are going crazy right now. Tito needs to make a statement, or else he's going to go down in this game. Yeah, those up here has got that low hit sun to get those free form combos rolling. But how are we got Samus at the ledge? But unfortunately, he drops this ledge trapping. But hold up, kicking Mario back to the ledge. But Mario's trying to kick it back right at him. And ooh, we got just a battle of kicks. Back and forth at the ledge. Tito just trying to trap, Ooh. and there you go. Bomb to the down smash. That's what you gotta do, man. Samus ledge trapping, some of the best in the game. That bomb is super good for catching neutral get up, catching rolls in, basically catching everything. Regardless of that ledge trap, though, Sully's already on the offensive once again, trying to find that back down throw in the back air. 109% on Tito right now. And Mario up smash can take this relatively easily right now. Tito's gotta be careful. He fights back with his own up airs, though. Trying to find damage of his own, but Sully is not going to take this one sitting down. Nice down smash. This one's going to be hard to come back from. Oh. Yeah, Tito just keeps on trying to catch Sully with these jumps, but Sully is not yielding. He's setting up for the back throw in the corner, but unfortunately, whiffing that bear in that situation, the kill is definitely around the corner, but that's a matter if you don't let this get to you. You keep your calm, you keep your cool, and there you go. Oh, no, he I rolls away. Oh, no, that's a surprise, DI takes Tito, and Sully takes game one in a relatively close last situation. Very good stuff to both of these players. I like, Tito was playing really well when Sully like kind of like gave him that chance to breathe. You know, he was catching his fantasy at a good time, like caught the jumps. But of course, it's just dealing with that pressure from Mario. Mario, you can literally just sit there, fireball, and just hold forward. And if you're not ready for it, the Mario's absolutely just take over. Tito is definitely, in a matchup like this, like the one thing that Samus really lacks is like frame data and speed. So if he's able to like find that answer, find maybe like using more up B at a shield or keeping more defensive options, he needs an answer for Sully literally just going in and playing Mario all over. Yeah, he needs the answer for Mario pushing the agenda with the fireball. You can be hanging out and try to condition Mario for those jumps as we were sawing earlier. He did have the right idea trying to go for all those jump conditioning and the reads, but it just was not there because Sully was so into playing his game with the Mario. And we're already seeing him just, oh wait, no, this time around, the jumps are working around. He's definitely looking to catch Sully, kind of holding forward. And Sully just trying to get the fireballs this time around, but Tito having a better time in the neutral here, kind of dodging around it all. Oh no, oh no, oh, okay, no. Misses the sweet spot there. Tito still hanging on here, trying to catch the, uh, Jump on the ledge from Sully. Nice. Oh, goes a little too aggressive with that forward air. They're triple forward air. Oh my gosh. Sully is going crazy right now. This is a crackhead Mario I have ever seen one. Yeah, gotta watch out for the over extensions. And you can see Sully is really putting the fear into Tito right now. 
As you can see, he's just trapped at the ledge, trying to go for the down tilt back air, but hold on, another forward air and the chase off that down air. He's definitely looking to get this call out, but here we go. Trapping at the ledge with the Sanus, with the bombs, with the char shots, but Chris Pratt just dodging through all the fire and the flames and the parry to boot too. The fire and the flames, nice parry to find that back air. Boost us to Sully. Get it, pushing that, boosting that aggression once again. Cashing stuff in comparison to Tito's aggression off of that ledge. Trying to get a little crazy there with the Samus. Realizing that Mario has the option to do with this. You're not going to get away with these Karen options. But he tries to find the landing there, there. Just keeps Sully at bay. Catches the jump there with the up air. And closes it out with the back air. Nice immediate back air. Tito uses up the stop count. Let's see if he can make something happen. Yeah, and Sully trying to go for that all American air dodge off the down tilt. He's still in very much control of this game. And Tito just trying to fight their way back onto it with the forward air. However, you're still getting trapped at the ledge at the Mario. Look at these aggressions. He knows he wants to swing from the ledge every time. But he is just not yielding as we're seeing the upbeat get that free free damage. And we got what? Oh my god! The reflection missile? Hello? What a call out. Very good stuff. Really calling out that green missile there. Putting himself back in the lead once again. Tito is just oh, running no. out of answers here. Oh, oh goes to the back air instead. Well, falls off with the Nair into dash tag. Still, he's going crazy right now. Oh no, it's looking like Raptor Tito. Let's make something crazy happen here. Using the flood once again. He's being thrown into free fall. Oh no, oh, he up No, he goes for four. No, oh, he no, gets again. Keep oh, down my below. God. That was That's, mean. You hate this here, bro. You that actually. That was hate mean. He bullied him, just flooded several times. He hit him with the bark whizzy. That's his specialty. Just hit him with the flood. Just trap him off the ledge with it, and that's all she wrote. If he was Keep real, if he was real, he would have went for that double dunk. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yes. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's a real Mario. He wasn't about it, unfortunately, but Sully still takes the 2-0 victory over Tito. I mean, this is like clean Mario gameplay I've ever seen it, right? Like, you, literally, all you got to do with this character is, like, literally just... I, it sounds simple, but literally just like shoot the fireball, and then yes. run in, and then down throw, and then you win. I mean, Sully literally showing perfectly how that goes down. What a very clean set from that Mario. Yeah, because basically your win conditions as Mario is you shoot the fireball, condition, approach the agenda, and then you either get grab or you get up airs off, and then you combo off the platforms, and then... Basically, that leads to either a DI mix-up, or if your DI is not unlocked, that's entire stock gone. Oh yeah, that's so so hard to deal with. I mean, we saw like glimpses of what Tito had planned. I think that set wasn't really just like him playing incorrectly, and more just like not dealing with Sully enough. Like literally just giving him free reign, literally running in, finding his combos, getting all that damage, and Tito kind of just. Being left there, like, clueless. We saw in that last off, too, he literally just, like, got flooded 14 times, then sent to the depths. Yeah. That was just, that's just unfortunate. That, that is, I guess that's how that matchup goes. Well, basically, um, Tito with the Samus, just gotta keep that calm, collected composure. Just wall the Mario out. I wasn't seeing a lot of, 